when you have a south node in the second house, your north node will be in the eighth house. So south node in second house, um, how you were shaped by environment is a theme about uh, resources, um, feeling lack or not enough, or whether you have enough um, resources in your life. So like uh, feeling that there is a um, lack of money, the lack of feeling abundance, um, can lead you to feel limited. And so you may grow up hoarding, uh, very afraid to share your resources and feeling that uh, you do not have enough. So this can lead you to um, to make choices which are fear-based or feel very limited. And uh, when you have a North Node in the 8th house or Scorpio, your what is more um, uncomfortable and what is your growth would be being aware of how you can learn to share, share um, more of yourself with other people, which can lead you to feel vulnerable. So you are learning about vulnerability. Um, you are more comfortable with the second house, south node is, you're more comfortable to stay alone and isolated because that will make you feel more uh, safe um, or you may feel more contented, feel contented and that's good enough. So this leads to stagnation and non-fulfillment, even though you feel it's contentment. So contentment can lead to um, stagnation. When you have a self note in the second house, you are uh, caught to open up yourself to, uh, to share and share your emotions with other people, which means you are learning vulnerability. You are learning uh, to expose yourself uh, more to others. So in this way, you are um, evolving through um, learning vulnerability, learning to open up your heart, even though it may be scary, even though it may invite um, the uh, possibility of being betrayed or possibility of uh, people making use of your weakness when they know about you. you. Right. So um, your growth is um, North Node in the 8th house, Scorpio, you are learning to be more vulnerable versus feeling that um, you need to keep to yourself in order to feel more secure and safe. So you are learning about um, opening up and when you open up, you share, for example, sharing your knowledge, you give value, in turn, you receive. And so that will make you feel that you are able to receive. Um, it leads you to receive more and feel more abundant rather than feeling that there is a lack or limitation. So it's a vicious cycle when we feel that um, we are contented, we are enough, we just do this is enough. Whereas when you have a North Node in the 8th house, you are asked to open up. So um, sharing, collaboration, um, and opening openness, vulnerability is part of your growth and part of your life lessons. So if you have a North Node in the 8th house, let me know if this resonates with you, whether you are um, comfortable to be vulnerable, to share your innermost joy or innermost sadness with somebody whom otherwise you may tend to put up a front that feels more strong, independent, that I am, I'm okay and I'm not opening up uh, to let another person to know you more deeply. Uh, so, do you have a North Node in the 8th house and what are your experiences? And um, depending on where Venus is in your birth chart, Venus represents 2nd house, will be how you feel safe and secure, and also where Pluto is in your birth chart to give you more information about um, how you can grow, evolve, 